Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geek. So if you are attending this session, can I have a quick plus one in the chat so that I can just start? Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geek. So if you are attending this session, can I have a quick plus one? Okay. So let's start right away. Let me lower down the quality. Yeah. Today we would be discussing yesterday's problem of the day at the smallest window containing 0, 1 and 2. Okay. Now it is it uses a sliding window approach. It is saying, okay. Now this question appeared in PTM and this is an easy level problem. Okay, with a success percentage of 69 percent okay given a string s consisting of the character 0 1 and 2 ek string gaya gaya hai jis mein sirf 0 1 or 2 characters here okay the task is to find the length of the smallest substring of the string such that it contains all the three characters of 0 1 and 2 so first you need to find the smallest substring so as this is a easy level problem i would consider explaining you the meaning of substring so basically substring is nothing suppose we have a b c d okay e and f so it can be visualized as a part of the string as one part of the string without any breakage in between like this is a substring this is a substring the single character c is also a substring okay this is the meaning of substring itself i would clear this okay if no substring exist then return minus 1 so we have 0 1 2 and 1 2 so let's write 0 1 2 and 1 2 so we need to find the smallest substring okay so the basic brute force approach that would come in our mind is we can consider all the substring first we need to see if they are valid or not that how it is valid it would contain all three characters and then the minimum length would be returned okay so how to how can we do first we would consider start considering from the lower one okay so we would consider all the lower substring okay low one character substring as we need all the three characters then there is no point in considering substrings of length 0 1 okay it, it can't be zero. okay yeah, 0 is also substring length 0 so 1 and 2 why because 1 and 2 length substring would never have all the three characters okay to have the three characters we need a substring of length greater than or equal to 3 so let's start the consideration with 3 itself so if we start the consideration with 3 itself we would come to the conclusion that the first consideration is our answer 0 1 and 2 then the next one would be 2 1 and 1 the next one would be nothing okay 1 2 and 1 yeah next one would be 2 1 and 2 okay so wherever we start from the substring of length 3 whenever we find a value that is valid that it is having all the three characters okay we would say the length of that why we we don't need to check further because we are checking from the lowest bound only okay so lowest bound it is not valid not valid not valid and after a certain point of time it would become valid but this is like a monotonous function okay so like this this would be suppose this is length 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay suppose length 0 can't have length 1 can't have length 2 can't have so if length 3 substring can have then there would definitely exist a substring of length 4 that it would always have so this is like this so we need the first position where this is yes to get the first position where this this is yes we can either move from back that we would start considering from the largest and the first point where we would get no we would return the last yes point but to track back is on the little bit difficult on implementation to make it more easy what we are doing is this is no we would move forward this is no we would move forward this is no we would move forward when this is yes we would print that okay fair enough let's move forward now whenever we talk about this is just a matter of fact and it comes with experience but still some tips and tricks do exist so whenever we need to consider the substrings okay the first thing okay suppose you need to consider all possible substring or something 
okay the first thing that should come in your mind is two pointer approach okay two pointer okay now let's see how can this be solved using two pointers okay this can be solved using two pointers by by something like this what we would do is we would initialize so this is 0 1 2 3 and 4 so what we would do is we would initialize low is equals to 0 and high is equal to minus 1 okay so now this is the condition so what we would do is we would check if so num so do we have so till now so the string from low to high would be the string that we are considering so this would tell us the number of zeros we are considering at the moment this would tell us the number of 1 and this would tell us the number of 0 so if high plus 1 is less than n okay it should be within the range first thing then then either of these should have one less okay so we can see that zero is not having any values okay so like this is zero so when either of them is zero we would do this okay so we would make high is equals to one and we would keep doing that okay till all is not one so now zero is equals to one because we got one zero then we would move the pointer forward because the next pointer is within the range and we still have one and two as the value zero so again we would come to one we would increment this value okay we would increment the count and then still the next value high plus one that is two is within the range and two is still zero so what we would do is we would increment the pointer and we would say that this is one okay now all these are true so we won't move forward even if it is within the boundary both the conditions should be fulfilled now moving forward now moving forward what we would do is we would make the low low is equals to at this point first we would save our answer so how to save our answer high minus low see 2 minus 0 is equals to 2 but we can see that the length is 3 so what we can do is we would just consider high minus low plus 1 that is 2 minus 0 plus 1 that is equal to 3 so we would say that till now we got the answer 3 itself okay then what we are doing is if low is less than high so we would move forward the low pointer we would move forward the low pointer and we would decrement the count okay because we are decrementing now this is again zero again this loop would continue again one of these values is zero and the next value of high is also within the range so what we would do is we would move forward this okay we would move forward okay and then again still now this value would become 2 this value would become to 2 and now still now the next value is within the range and still now 0 is equals to 0 count of 0 is equals to 0 so we would again move forward now this time also the count of 2 is getting increased and 0 is not getting increased so at this point we would exit okay we would exit now low is first we would check if all are true or not no all are not true so we won't update our answer next what we would do is if low is less than high low is less than high so what we would do is 0 1 and 2 so we would make the pointer low greater okay and then we would decrement the count of 1 then moving forward again one of them is false but the next pointer of high is not within the range so we can't do anything again low is less than high okay and all are not zero so we won't update the answer all are not one so we can't update the answer so now we would again update the low updating the low would become like this okay again the count of two would get decremented okay now again all are all are not one all are not greater than zero but the range of high plus one is outside the boundary we won't do anything again we would check the condition all are not greater than zero we won't update the answer also now only possible way is to increment the value of low now low is equals to high and then the count of two would again get decremented that is zero again the same thing that all are not all are not zero so we we can't move further high because high is high won't be within the range okay so again all are not greater than zero we won't update the answer also only possible is that we would update sorry we would update this low 
so low would get updated to this point okay and the count of two would get decremented okay we would decrement the count now this is outside the loop so this loop would stop okay now if we talk about the implementation the implementation is like this what we are taking use of this is see the character 0 1 and 2 is there so we are to get directly uh, directly add the frequency from 0 we are subtracting the value of 0 so we would get 0 from 1 we are subtracting the value of 0 so we are getting 1 now from 2 we are get subtracting the value of 0 so we are getting 2 so basically we to hash the values we need the array of size 3 so we are getting an array of size 3 then high is equals to minus 1 we started and then low is equals to minus 1 now to understand the dry run better what you can do is just after this implementation you can again take one more example and then you can again do the dry run int max is equals to int uh, int max y okay because we want the minimum so it should be initialized to the maximum then while low is less than high we are keep going moving forward if any of them is equals to if equals to 0 okay and the next high plus 1 is within the range then we would first add the frequency and then we would move forward we would keep move, doing that okay till it is within the range and any of them is equals to 0 now if all of them are true we would update our answer okay all of them has greater than 0 now if high is greater than low okay what we are doing is we are subtracting the value of index okay now the next part is we are subtracting the value of high also okay this is just to avoid TLE so this would avoid TLE even if you are making if, uh, if you are even if you are making mistakes in your implementation of two pointer okay so now answer is equal if answer remains int max that we are not able to find any substring then it would be initialized with minus one okay so now a small bit of information that i have been using this implementation of two pointers for the last two years and even if you miss make mistakes in the implementation it would not get give you a tle error why because of this condition because of this condition so consider so if you do, if you already have a implementation of two pointer don't do anything just go with that only just use the logic but if you don't have an implementation of that consider using this implementation because i have been using this for the last two years and it works like a charm i never had this problem okay now there is one more there is no one more way to solve this problem okay but it is not intuitive from my personal views okay what we are doing is we are saving we are saving the last time last time we saw 0 1 and 2 so this would tell me the most nearest value so nearest value is 0 1 and 2 if the nearest value of 0 1 and 2 suppose the nearest value of 0 lies here and the nearest value of 1 lies here and nearest value of 2 lies here and suppose this is 2 2 2 2 2 this is 0 0 0 0 0 so we only need to consider this from this we don't need to do like this so what we can do is we can save the values and we can consider the nearest value okay but this is this was not intuitive from my personal view but if it is intuitive for you then that congratulations okay everyone has a different perspective and everyone has a different way of thinking that and this thing makes us all human apart from robots okay so the implementation of this is also very easy what we are doing is if we are just saving the value last zero we are updating it and now if all of them is not equal to minus one that is everyone has the value then we are up then we are getting the minimum of them okay and we are telling answer is existing now if the answer is existing we are returning the answer if answer is not existing we are returning minus one this is what is there okay so i would still wait for the next one minute to see if there is any doubts or not else i would just turn off the session okay i would wait for the next 30 to 40 seconds and then i would just turn off the session there is only one people attending the session so i don't think we even need to wait for 40 seconds we can just wait for 30 seconds itself 
and if you are see watching this uh, stream after the live okay and you want to ask me anything just consider tagging me in the comment section or else you can just ask your doubts in the linkedin itself thank you 